Hi lovely YouTubers, I'm here with the amazing Danielle Collins, the world's leading face yoga expert. And I'm here with Roxy Shahidi, TV actress, celeb and all round amazing yogi. And we're super excited to be bringing you Fabulous in 5. And Fabulous in 5 is about looking and feeling the very best version of yourself in just 5 moves a day. So if Danielle is new to you and you want to get a little bit more of her work, check her out at... And check Roxy out at... Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So this is face yoga for hooded eyes. Okay, Roxy, so we're gonna work this area above the eyebrows. So you know the area that tends to get like a little bit loose and saggy. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna work with strengthening and toning it, okay? So, and so gonna, this is gonna prevent that happening. So it's preventative, but it's also good if you're already finding that this area is starting to sag down. Oh, it's right. about lifting and toning the muscle, okay? Yeah. So we're gonna take our index finger and just place it underneath our eyebrow, just at the end there. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's it. And then use your middle finger and just smooth down your forehead. Mm -hmm. That's it. So try and have it above your index finger if you can. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to close your eyes. So close them tight shut so you feel like a little shake or a little mm -hmm. pulse. You feel that? Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to hold that there. So hold that for about 10 seconds. That little shake or pulse as the muscles contracting and relaxing. Good. And you can breathe deeply whilst you do it as well. And try and relax the rest of the face. And then slowly open your eyes, but maintain your fingers in that same position. And then take that again. So closing the eyes, aim to feel that little shake or that little pulse. So working with lifting and toning that corrugator supercilly muscle, it's called, that runs all the way along the eyebrows. Excellent. Are you feeling that shake or mm. pulse still? Perfect. Open and we'll do just one more time. Feeling it working there. It's also going to work the side of the eyes too. So it's also a really good one for preventing and reducing crow's feet lines. And one more deep breath in. And then exhale, just relax. Okay. You're Interesting. Right. The ones that I know of yours already, yeah. I've got muscle memory, so it's really easy. Whereas when it's new, you have to really, really concentrate because these Absolutely. are muscles we're not used to tuning into. Absolutely. But now that I have, I can really feel that. Yeah. And it's like the first time firing up a muscle. Yeah. So I've... like the first time that you do exercise, the first time that you yeah. do yoga, it sometimes takes a bit of time to actually feel the exercise working properly. But once you do it regularly, you feel them firing up straight away. Yeah. So like Definitely. flirty eyes, you do flirty eyes quite yeah. a lot, don't you? So yeah. you'll probably feel straight away this one yeah. working. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, it's yeah, dead exactly. easy. Yeah. Whereas anything new, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really hard. But like yeah. I say, once you've done it once, twice, three times, exactly. it Exactly, absolutely. So placing the index fingers under the eyes, pull top lip and bottom lip away from each other, hiding the teeth, and we're gonna flutter the upper eyelids. So looking up as you do this, and if you can, try and keep your forehead as still as possible. And your eyes still? Yep, yours is still. Because we tend to over raise our eyebrows when we don't actually need to. So a lot of face yoga is about retraining the face, getting into good habits. So we do this about 30 seconds. So this is going to help to lift and tone the upper eyelids. It's also very, very good for underneath the eyes. So helping to reduce and prevent hollows under the eyes. And you also feel the lower face muscles working a lot as well. Good. And so then just gently relax. You can really feel them tire I as know. you go through it. At first, you're like, oh, this is a really easy one. Yeah. But then when you stick with it for the 30 seconds, I know, right? I'm exhausted I know, now. exactly. Yeah, so you're working that muscle all, all the way around. around the eye, which is great. So next one, we place our index fingers just underneath our eyebrows there and just push them up slightly. You don't want to push them up too far, just a little bit. And then the main part of this exercise is actually closing the eyes. So as mm. slowly as you can, close your eyes against the resistance of those index fingers. So you close them to the position where you feel that little shake or that little pulse on the outer edge of the eyes again. And you're gonna hold there for about 10 seconds. So you can take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And then slowly open your eyes. Just relax your index fingers a little bit. And then take that again. Push up just a little bit. That's it. Slowly close your eyes. Remember the main part of the exercise is the closing. And then you feel that position where you're just shaking or pulsing on the outer edge of the eyes. You can just close them a little bit more. That's it. 
good. And you hold there for about 10 seconds. Breathing in and breathing out. And then just relax your hands down. Wow, Good. that's really challenging. I know. I can know. almost get a sweat on doing yeah. face yoga. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love that one because if you look in the mirror, particularly after you've done these exercises, you'll actually notice instantly how this area lifts, which is really good. You feel more open. Yeah, exactly. You feel more open. So it's great to do if you're very tired, particularly if you wake up in the morning and you find that this area is starting to sag a little bit. So it's having those short term benefits as well as the long term benefits as well. So we're going to just do a nice eye movement now. So we're just going to place a hand onto our forehead here. And we're just going to start off looking up towards the ceiling. Now try and keep your forehead really still. That's why your hand's there, just to remind you. And then a nice smooth line, just look down towards the floor. And just keep this going up and down. Up and down. But forehead still all the time. So even if you had to put a little bit of force there, on your forehead to keep it still, then that's fine to do. So we're just trying to retrain the face a little bit for the forehead just to not overexpress, but the eyes to be used a lot more. And this is how you're going to work with strengthening and toning the muscle around the eye, which is gonna to help to give the eyes that nice energized and open look. And let's do side to side now. Good, how's that feeling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you go to go side to side now, that's it. Lovely. So these eye movements, as you know, Roxy, have been used for thousands of years in yoga. Um, so some people swear by them to help with eyesight, um, but also they have those aesthetic benefits as well in terms of opening up the eye area. Good. And then just focus on one point in front of you. So make your eyes nice and wide. Take a nice deep breath in. And then out. And then just release your hands and then take two fingers and thumb and we're just going to do a pinch and a release all the way along our eyebrows. So pinch and release. So you can go quite deep down into the muscle. Make sure it's not painful though. That's it. And then we take that again. So we start from the beginning of the eyebrow. That's it. So just start from the bringing, beginning and then go out. Just a warning, Good. if you've got big long nails, this is a little bit trickier. It's still possible. It's still possible. Yeah. And that's it. And then coming along and out. What I love about all these exercises is they're portable. You can do them anywhere. Oh, I mean, you yeah. might look a bit mental on the bus, but yeah. still, do it's it. It's okay. You're going to look good as a result. Yeah. And the key really is just to keep them up regularly. You know, this is what I always say to people. If you do it once or twice, you'll look and feel a bit better. But it's if you're doing a little bit every day. How many days? We, every day? If you can do it six days a week, ideally, that's really, really and good. And do I work so a different just, area every day? Whatever works for you. So some people really want to just focus on one area. Other yeah. people want to work all areas of the face. So you can choose. You can either just do one minute every day or you can do 20 minutes every day, whichever oh works for you. The key is just to keep it up on whichever area you want to work. That's it, and you can relax. Well done. How do you feel? Thank you. I feel my whole face is open. Amazing. So do I. It's great, isn't it? Thank you. Thanks.